Hey space fans, I'm Chelsea Goad here with Mark Clampin, the Director of the Sciences and Exploration Directorate at NASA. We're going to be talking about NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, better known as TESS. TESS recently discovered its tiniest planet to date, Exoplanet L9859b. So Mark, how small is this new planet, and what does its discovery mean for the future of planet hunting? So this planet is uh, midway in size between Mars and Earth, and uh, I think what it tells us um, is that TESS is really performing the job that we designed uh, the satellite to perform, which is to find small rocky planets around the brightest stars that we see in the sky. And of course, after finding these planets, we will want to study them in a couple of years in more detail with the James Webb Space Telescope when we launch that in 2021. Incredible. So TESS has spent years scanning the skies. What are some of its most fascinating findings to date? So I think for me, one of the most interesting findings is that um, after the first year looking at the um, southern hemisphere, we already have something more than 900 candidate um, exoplanets that we now have to uh, follow up and confirm. But TESS has also found some really interesting systems. Uh, one that I think is really interesting has uh, one super Earth-sized planet and two sub-Neptunes. And uh, we just don't see those kind of planets in our own solar system. So we're really looking at new solar systems that are completely different from our own. One other discovery I'll just mention that I'm especially interested in is an observation of a star in the southern hemisphere called Beta Pictoris which has a big uh, dust debris disk orbiting uh, the star. And there, TESS was actually able to see possible evidence of a comet falling into the star. Interesting. So what do scientists hope to find with TESS that they haven't already discovered? Uh, I think um, our main goal or um, objective as we look towards the second year is really just finding uh, as many more uh, Earth-like planets as we can around the brightest stars. And the reason is because that will then provide us with the best targets for the James Webb Space Telescope. So we kind of look at TESS as the finder for uh, not just the gra um, ground-based telescopes, but as I said, the James Webb Space Telescope. So we're really looking in the second year to find more um, Earth-sized planets around those nearby stars. Fascinating. So what can scientists learn about the Earth by studying exoplanets like those found by TESS? I think one of the things that you could argue there is that as we study these other solar systems, they give us a much bigger handle on how, the, uh, how other solar systems form and evolve. And that then can help us you know, put our own planet and our own solar system in context and understand better how uh, the formation of our own solar system occurred and you know, answer important questions like how did all the water get delivered to the Earth and questions like that. Incredible. So Mark, how can people at home learn more about TESS and get involved in planet hunting themselves? So there's a number of ways. The simplest way is to uh, go to the web page. So exoplanets.nasa.gov backslash TESS, you know, keeps you up to date on the most recent discoveries and findings. We also have a Twitter account at NASA underscore TESS. And then uh, for those people who are really interested in getting involved with the data, we have um, a citizen science program called Planet Hunters. And there you can enroll and get involved in actually looking at real TESS uh, science data and looking for planets yourself. 